It takes a couple of seconds to connect to the satellite. Okay, we are live. <laughs> Hi, everybody. From Los Angeles, California. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> And we are on campus at UCLA. Uh, it's, it is <laughs> and they are loud here tonight. They, I have a very excited crowd. So anyway, um, let's give me a question. Do you have a question? I do. Okay. <laughs> you always do, Michael. Okay. <laughs> Shirley from New Jersey writes, Hi, Yanni. Thank you for taking my question. In one of your recent Facebook posts, you shared the composition Wishing Well and wrote, we must never forget what a small village we all live in and how much effect and influence we have on each other. We are all so connected and so interdependent that we are all one, no matter what anyone tries to make us believe. Many of your fans, including myself, share this sentiment. The post went on to say, most problems seem difficult and sometimes unsolvable until we have the solution. Don't forget, E equals MC squared. Can you elaborate on your use of Einstein's formula in this context? <laughs> That's very good, Shirley. That's very good. What she's talking about is uh, something that I've written. Um, it was um, a couple of years ago, or a year and a half ago, maybe. A, a man from Sudan walked up to me when I was playing overseas. Uh, and he said, please, Yanni, keep on making this planet into a small village. And, and we don't really, a lot of us who haven't traveled haven't felt it yet. Is that we're pretty much touching shoulders with each other right now. And we affect each other. We can't underestimate how much effect we have on each other. And uh, I think that's what she's referring to. The other one is very simple. I exaggerated, obviously, to make a point. Um, uh, seemingly, uh, all problems, a lot of problems may seem unsolvable or difficult. Every problem is difficult. Until you have the solution, then the problem is not difficult anymore. It's easy, right? That, that includes E equals MC squared. Uh, it took 100,000 years for a patent clerk to come up with those three letters and the uh, number. You know, the speed of light to, to the square times itself, mass, you get the energy. There you go, you're done. It's not a difficult problem anymore, is it? So it seems like every problem has a solution. That was the point. Even so, don't give up. If, if problems seem insurmountable, as long as you're core and you know who you are, don't lose who you are. Just because life sometimes hit us pretty hard, you don't get to just put your head down and go somewhere else and become somebody else. Don't forget who you are and don't lose your values and stay and uh, learn from it and get strong from it. And that's the whole point, isn't it? Yeah. And in ancient Greek, uh, they say, uh, I have to translate in English right now, that which cannot be uh, untied can be cut. Alexander the Great did with a Gordian knot, some of you may know already. It's just like everything is so tangled up, at some point you have to go whack and it's done. And, and people have to be brave and you just, Stay your ground, stand your ground, and have faith in yourself. Great question, Shirley. There you go. Uh, this one, I'm going to play a song that I think is appropriate. Um, this one I have never played live before. It's a very old one, and it's the very first time I'm going to play this one. Uh, I, yeah. It has to do with my father, but can I see that picture with Einstein on there one more time, please? There you go. Okay. 
Thanks, Charles. The song is called To the One Who Knows. Thank you. And these songs, by the way, they're in their pure form. I, you will never find this song again like that. It's not like that on the album when I first did it. And I will never be able to play it the same way ever again. I'm not following in any patterns, and I'm not really practicing them. I'm just letting them come out uh, so they're pure. Just the way they hit me the first time. That's what I'm doing. All right, do you have any more questions, Michael? Yes, I do. <laughs> do 
Brasil. Renan, from São Paulo, Brasil, diz. Olá, Yanni. Meu nome é Renan, e eu sou do Brasil. O que te inspira mais para compor suas canções? Was there any special inspiration to compose the album Keys to Imagination? Mm -hmm. It is very special to me. Hugs from all fans of Brazil. That's a great question. Keys to Imagination. Well, that, that, uh, it's, it was my first album. It's also a piece of music called Keys to Imagination. And this is, that piece of music uh, set me free. You might say it started it all. It's when I found my artistic freedom for good. Um, I have had hints before, I've had inspirations before. You asked me about what inspired me. Here's one, a quick uh, little story. We were in Cologne, Germany, a long, long time ago, and they kept their museum open after hours, and they took us in, and they showed me a, an entire, it was a, a, a an exhibition of Pablo Picasso, but he was huge, four or five hundred paintings, from the time he was born until he ended, uh, his life ended. So I got to watch his drawings and his paintings and how he developed and what was happening in the middle life and what was happening towards the end and the beginning. And besides a lot of lessons that I've learned from that, even though I'm not a huge fan of Picasso, uh, I learned one thing. I learned artistic freedom. This man was free. He did whatever he wanted. And I took it to heart. And I was young enough, and it made a difference. So, um, because I, I started as an electronic musician, and back then everybody was sort of looking at electronics as being funny things. If it were not a violin, if it's not a violin, or a piano, or a trumpet, or it's not a real thing. Uh, what are you playing? You have to go back 40 years now, right? Fast forward 35 years later, right now electronic music is cool, it's hip, it's in, it's, people like it. Um, I came from that era, so I have that inside me too. And so having the freedom uh, to experiment and have fun and not worry about what anybody thinks about what I did, uh, I think made me what I am today. Um, keys to imagination, think about it. Creativity and imagination. We all have it. And it's the most powerful two forces that we have. Creativity is an inherent human quality of the highest order. Everybody has creativity. I'll give you a, a, a small example. Take a two-year-old, put him in a room, with a jar of cookies that he cannot reach. Walk out of the room and watch creativity at work. <laughs> I rest my case. Imagination. I mean, what a powerful thing. Uh, they, they go hand in hand. You know, it, it, when you create something, it's so, so fulfilling because you're making something out of thin air. Something that wouldn't exist unless it was you. You showed up and you made it out of nothing. And that applies to writers, uh, painters, mathematicians, uh, physicists. They don't plot, they don't go one plus one equals two, therefore three, or A plus B, and I can deduce C, and then all of a sudden it's a quantum leap the creative process, the spark. You find yourself knowing Q, and you don't know how you got there. And then you spend an enormous amount of time um, trying to connect to your knowledge logically. Don't bother, just accept the gift. It's, uh, anyway, it's a, a great question. We'll talk a little more about creativity and imagination later. But I'm going to play this one song that's called Keys to Imagination. Uh, it's, uh, it was written for keyboards, actually. It's electronics, and it, has, it uses a particular sound that I started with, sort of a guitarish kind of sound. And uh, I played it once or twice on the piano. And I'm going to play you the introduction to to the song. 
This is keys to imagination. <laughs> Good luck on the piano. Thank you. <laughs> Aren't you nice? <laughs> Thank you so much. That's... Aren't you nice? I think I think we have one more question.
We're yes, still we up do. on the bird, right? Yes, we are. Okay. One more. Just be patient. Your Morello turn. from the UK wants to say, Dearest Yanni, we love and appreciate you and your team very much. I'm just wondering if you guys ever get a rest. <laughs> love from Morello. <laughs> what do you think, Michael? Do we ever get a rest? Ooh. Sometimes, <laughs> but I'm here and wide awake now. <laughs> yes, sir. We get, yeah, we do once in a while. But the show must go on. That's a great question, by the way. Thank you. Uh, you know, sometimes you have to work for 25 hours. Planes, trains, and automobiles, things happen, things don't work. It just happened to us two or three days ago. But we made it. We have to do it. It's, uh, I rarely would miss the show because I know how many people get disappointed and I don't want that. Uh, maybe three or four, you can count them, the fingers of one hand that I've missed in the last 40 years. Um, very important. Yes, and uh, rest is uh, secondary. Doesn't mean anything. Now, we're in a, in a city where people are praying for rain, right? And you're in a country where you have more rain than we know what to do with. So the, the word rain kind of stuck in my mind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a song called The Rain Must Fall.
Space Solar next. 